Love. love. Anyway, the question we're asking yes. is, can you know someone well enough to marry them after just three months? Mm. 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 It's very quick, isn't I it? I would. <laughs> no, I would. me, it took 17 years you, before you know, I said I, yes. I, I, yeah, well, I would know straight away whether oh, I wanted okay. to or not. Well, Dr. Pam Spur is here today. I did, I did want to marry straight away, but I just sort of forgot. Forgot but to anyway, ask. yes. Yeah, Dr. Pam Spur, she's taking calls from you today. If you've got regretted it ever since, so do get in touch with us. 08000 30 40 44. The calls are free from Beauty Landlines. Calls from some mobiles and other networks may be charged. You can also email this morning at ITV.com. How old must you be, Eamon? You have to be 18 or over. You have to be 18 yes. or over. And be out of bed by 11 o'clock. Yes. <laughs> Which uh, is this not going to happen, is it? Okay. Really? Right, We're anyway. To. Now, the other thing we're going, we're going to talk about something disgusting today that I. <gasps> it's disgusting. It's disgusting. The birds and the bees. That's Even it. the word the birds and the bees is ridiculous. Well, well Sex, I'm, we're we going to discuss. It. I've asked a friend of mine, an expert, the child counsellor, Anna Williamson, to come into the studio. And this is a, a great item because what Adam, Anna has done, she has coached one of our viewers through the process of actually explaining all of this to her mm -hmm. child. It's not easy. We filmed it, OK? Yeah. So if you find this hard to broach this subject, uh, we're going to be doing that very, very shortly. Yeah, and then Anna was going to have all her tips of how you do broach the subject and things that are age appropriate, all the things that you're concerning. So if you've got very young children, you might want to distract them for a little while. Medical matters as well. Oh, a, an mother's, amazing story. a mother's instinct. Mm. And after her son died, we meet the woman who knew. It's an incredibly mm -hmm. moving story, and um, I love talking to them later on. More medical matters. Um, we asked you to get in touch with you uh, about um, conditions that affect you quite badly and quite commonly. And for me, um, my wife gives me a lot of headaches. Headaches, one in six, it was true. Tango in Halifax at the moment. Yeah, 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 so yeah. it's packed, a okay. packed show. Let's do it. When I hit the dance floor, one of my favourite songs is Let's Talk About Sex, baby. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about... Uh, you yeah. can't talk about sex. You go bright red every time someone but says the word song. sex. That's only a song. So, if you've any little children watching, you may not want them to uh, eavesdrop on the following conversation. It may not be appropriate to them. Uh, so now is the time to usher them or distract them out of the children. So if you have any 36-year-old children, um, you know, there may be this, people are very, very delicate. Yeah, but but very, yeah, yeah, very young children, you might not want them listening to this um, because we're going to be explaining the facts of life or how to explain the facts of life because it is a very important conversation, I believe, but actually a very it's tricky for teachers. one. It's for teachers to do. Well, I don't know. Is it for teachers to do or should parents get involved? And it is very important to get the right tone and things and lots of parents worry about it. And we have got Becky Broad Broadhurst with us today and Becky was struggling with this conversation with Wimson who's the child counsellor as you know has been on the show many times um, to, to kind okay. of counsel you what was right. it you were most worried about because she's seven so that's young yeah I kind of thought um, come and see what and that's it and we watched the video and then we could call most definitely so this is what this does this is what it's called yeah information yeah. for her to to learn from and what's going to happen to her in the next few years so what was it that you were shocked that it I'm wasn't shocked that. looking at these books in front <laughs> of me here. I got that book for Jack. Go back. It's a great book. I think you need to read them, Eamon. You need to what? read it. Need to but anyway, but what, they are a bit. I mean, what, what was it you were shocked about when you saw the film that she would be seeing at school? It was they brought her and explained the clitoris and that it can be pleasurable, and that that mortified me. So you weren't bit. worried about the kind of nuts and bolts of it. It was just that they would. You thought that was age. There was added extras. Added, yes. yes. It was yeah. that little bit of information that. For you just thought actually I'm not too comfortable with yeah. my daughter hearing about this at this age it was just a little bit too much then you were prepared yeah. to let her see weren't you definitely I so did you say to the school her. I don't want her to see this I then. did yeah we I spoke to my husband yeah. about it and we decided that we wouldn't we didn't let her watch it okay well we sent Anna to your home you didn't did. we and to yeah. kind of coach yeah. Because I think, you know, why should we know how to do this? We're parents, you know, we're we, doing we, we training. Might, well, exactly, we might be adults. It yeah. doesn't mean we automatically, you know, know about sex, mm. you know. We're, we're not all child psychologists, uh, nor are we all sort of mm. biological scientists. See, but um, it's, it's interesting how things have moved on, because when I was a teenager at school, we were very, the only reference made for pleasure. Oh, it how was, sad. <laughs> But sex is but natural. Yeah, that. It's, it's natural and it's normal. Awful. And it's not just about reproduction. You know, sex but and relationships. Some of the books you brought in. Yeah. I want to go to, to the film. So this is, um, we sent Anna down to Becky's house um, to, to kind of I mean, there's a title that leaves nothing to the no, imagination, read, isn't you it? You have a little read of that and we'll have a look at the film. <laughs> <laughs> 